Hello everyone, welcome back to About You Beauty. My name is Brenda and this one that I am wearing, I have recently done a review on. This is my wig she human hair wig that was sent to me to review. And this is wig number 048, so wig she 048. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. I have worn this for a few days now off and on. Um, I get so many compliments on this one and I'm being completely honest with you guys. This is an incredible, incredible piece. And I wanted to see what how this one holds up to and what it looks like after it's been wet. So I'm going to take, this is just water, and I want to just spray this. I mean, I don't want to lose this curl because it's gorgeous, but I have no idea what the natural um, hair that they use, what it's like. Is it straight? Is it curly? I don't know. So we're going to find out together. I'm just going to drench this as much as I can. I am avoiding the top area simply because, pardon me, simply because um, after doing a lot of research online with what to do with human hair, you don't want to wash it a lot. You don't want to wash any of your wigs a lot, period. Okay, so I am avoiding the knot area at, at this time. And... Um, because when human hair gets wet, it swells. So, okay, you guys, I've made this nice and wet. So I'm going to grab a wide tooth comb because I want, oh, she's actually really pretty, even damp. So because this is human hair, if it does get wet, you could do go outside in the rain or humidity, it's going to respond. It's not like synthetic, which holds its shape no matter what. So there's pros and cons, guys. Um, I'm really curious to see what she's going to dry like. And again, you just wanna be gentle with it. You don't wanna go fast. You don't want to be tangling it and pulling harshly because you don't wanna pull those uh, hair fibers out of the, the cap that it's been put into. So I just, I'm going to comb through this and then I'm gonna spray it again because it's just kind of damp right now. You guys can see that, you can see the, the texture to it. Okay, oh, this wig is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's add a little bit more water to this, you guys. It looks like she's definitely got some um, volume too. Oh, that's water right in my face. <laughs> Welcome to Brenda. Just want to get her really good wet. Um, like I said, I don't want to wash her or anything with her right now because she's brand new. She doesn't need it. But I do want to see what she's going to dry like after she's been wet. We're just gonna pretend like I stepped outside in rain or something. So, she can still come through it very nicely, you guys. I'm not using any pressure. I'm just being nice and gentle. And we will just let her air dry and I will be back in a little while and we'll see what she looks like. But so far, she's she definitely looks like wet hair. So, okay guys, keep watching. Thank you. Okay, hello you guys. So I wanna show you, this is how my wig she wig has dried. Let's turn around so you guys can see it in all sides. Here's the front, left side, back, right side, and front. I actually love the, the wave that this has. This is really pretty. Kind of like, I just wanted to show you what it looked like drying naturally. But with these other products, I'm gonna moist or mist it down again. And then I'm gonna put the curl, air curl cream in and see what it does. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get some extra curl out of this. And, um, but she still feels really soft, you guys. I love it. So keep watching and I will keep updating you. 
Hi guys, okay, welcome back. Uh, this is the second day. The hair is completely dry. And she's beautiful. I actually love her just as she is. But what I'm going to do is I want to show you, and I'm going to show myself if I can do this. Um, I want to see if we can add some extra curl to this. So I was talking to a friend of mine and she recently got a human hair wig. And so I was picking her brain, like, what do you do? So what I'm going to do now that we've seen what it dries like, is I'm just going to spray this with water, just mist it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use this, um, it's a Garnier Fructus, it's a new look. It's um, Curl Air Dry Cream. It's got zero sulfates in it, and I've heard that that is the key. No sulfates. So let's just take a little bit of this. No idea how much I need, but we're just gonna start with just about that much. Not much. Oh, oh, that smells like coconut almost. Okay, so what I wanna do is I just want to go in and scrunch this in the hair and we're going to see if we can work this into more of a curl more of a wave I'm kind of excited I haven't had real hair to play with in so long you guys okay and then so glad that I got this. I'm, I'm actually, I was sad to have um, wet her down and lost that beautiful curl that she came in, the curled style, but this is going to be fun. Can you imagine if you were to braid this, how what, what it's going to turn out like when it dries? Okay, and then I'm going to put also a little bit of this anti-freeze serum. It's called Sleek and Shine from Fructus. I just got these in today. I gotta figure out. There we go. Just a little drop. Just like that. And let's just add this on the ends because the end does look like it gets a little on the frizzier side. And I'm just gonna follow all the scrunch techniques that I've seen and I used to do on my own hair. Isn't it beautiful? I am loving this, you guys. Okay, so lots of serum. And you don't want to get the serum up at the top by the knots. That's going to be my assumption because you don't want to do anything that's going to make those um, knots want to slide out of the cap. Oh, look at that shine that that just put in. What do you guys think? pretty so we're just going to keep scrunching let's add a little bit more of this um, curl air dry cream I think I need some up at the top section here so I'm going to flip upside down oh, I think she's beautiful what do you guys think now, I'll, I will be able to go back and straighten this and do that nice, beautiful curl that this came in, but I'm actually loving these beachy waves. This looks way more like a summer style. I'm, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Anyway, um, like I said, I didn't wet this all down. I didn't wash this yet because it doesn't need to be washed or didn't need to be. Um, and just have fun with them. So thank you again, Rikshi, for this opportunity to review for this beautiful wig for you. Um, I'm seriously loving it and looking forward to playing with it and getting more styles and just feeling more, more like myself. So again, everybody, thank you for being here and please go check out wigshe.com. Just have fun, have fun making this your own and, um, don't be afraid. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Okay. You guys, I'm outside. I've added all that curling cream and everything to it. It's beautiful and she feels incredible. She's so soft and I love her.